You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thank you for stopping by today. I really appreciate everybody that's still watching my videos. Uh, this for me has been a 10 year, 11 year voyage now to just show toys of all kinds from my collection. Here is the Sears oven. Now I uh, took a little break from my ovens and then uh, this one uh, has been sitting around. I said, you know what? It is time to show you this oven. It is pretty unique because it has one of those thermostatic door locks, whatever that is, we'll find out. And then uh, of course, lots of other stuff came in the box with this set. It was number 491005. You're probably saying, haven't you done a Sears oven? Yes, but they had a variety of Sears ovens. This was one of them. Safety features, Underwriters Laboratories Incorporated listed. Oh, that's nice. Outside surface temperature, safe to touch. Thermostatic door locks as heat rises and unlocks when temperature falls to safe level. On off switch, safe to grip plug. And it uses one 100 watt light bulb, not included, but I do have one in there. Not much on the back of the box. Uh, just tells you about electrical shock and internal parts. That's kind of a repeat. There is a little bit more on the top. Actually, a lot more and a color picture way up there. Let's bring the camera up. Let's see if we can get this tilted in there. Here, let's just do this. That's much easier. All right, so you get the oven, you get the cake mixes. I don't have the mixes, so we'll just skip all of those. Cookie pan, cake pan, pie pan, pan holder, cookie cutters, two, one measuring teaspoon, one cookbook, and one instruction sheet. This is part of the big toy box at Sears. I think that was in the Sears catalogs. I kind of remember it, don't know much about it. Maybe you could help me. So, a picture of everything that's included. You do see a pan there that has the pie in it. So, here, I'll tell you what, while we're here, this box, I would say, is in fair to good condition. But here's what's in this uh, particular toy oven box. Now, as I said, it's been a mission of mine to show you. I think I've shown you more ovens than anybody in the world has ever shown on video and baked with them. Okay, so this oven did have some issues. So. I had to completely take it apart. Now, sometimes I do that on video, sometimes I don't, but I still may give you a little sneak peek inside. It's pretty unique on this sophisticated system here, this little sophisticated locking system. Uh, and that's what locks the door and unlocks the door. So now it's thermostatically controlled. I can't get in. Here was the little pan pusher. Now the one on the cover showed a yellow one. There's the square tray. Ooh, I'm missing a tray. I must have taken it out. I have it and put it somewhere else. Uh, and then there's the two cookie cutters. And then here is my cook book. Now, I did not have a second book to this, but maybe I missed it. I don't know. Here we go. I will come back now. I will find my one missing tray and let's take a closer look at this oven. Okay, missing pie tray. That was off to the side. And then this actually had two cookbooks in it. And one was for Junior Chef and one was for Sears, but it's the same picture. What does that tell you? Who was making it? One of them was making it for the other. Now I started taking the screw out and then I realized, wait, camera needs to be on. This one was pretty much almost out. Okay, so we're looking inside the oven now. Ooh, that's always exciting. All right, so one more screw here. I'm gonna show you this sophisticated on and off system. And I'm saying that somewhat sarcastically because it's very primitive, but it worked. Okay. This has two little pins that slide in there. Let's unlock this, pull this back. This tray comes out. We're getting to actually, this is how you change the light bulb. So that's where the light bulb sits. Now this ring comes out because the only way I could fix this toy was to get this ring out. And these are really supposed to clip into here, but it works fine. All right, so inside here, way in here, I don't know if you can see it, let's zoom in. There's actually just a regular old fashioned little toggle switch. We need a little more light. Let me grab a little more light. All right, so it's kind of bright, but uh, you can see the switch right here. It's just a regular little up and down switch. Now that clips into this little section here. That's how primitive it is, but it works. It lifts the switch up, lifts the switch down. See that in there? I don't know, I find that quite interesting. Just the simplicity of it, and it worked. All right, so let's see, plug it in. Now, will, this will not turn on until you lock everything and close it up, all right? So I don't think, oh, I actually might be able to do it this way, let's see. Yeah, there you go. 
Do that. Okay, so the ring goes back. This goes back. It's a little tray that your trays slide on. Remember now there's two little pins, they lock in. And then you have the one screw in the back. Once it's all screwed down, that, that other ring on the outside works fine. Ooh, I almost lost my screw. Let me zoom back out. So you're probably saying, ah, what mix is he going to do? What mix is he going to do? Has anybody said that yet? Or you probably read the title in the description. Well, There's not much more to this uh, top of the oven. That's kind of what it looks like from the bottom. There's vents all the way around to release the heat. So what are they saying about heat and safety? It's pretty wide open. All right, let me finish getting these two screws. These do take a little bit to, to get back into position. You almost need a different kind of screwdriver. So, which I don't have. Handy. Alright, there we go. Alright, this one seems a little easier. I can actually see the hole on this one. This must have the washer for the way that it's holding in. Okay. Alright, I'll be right back now. Let's check out the mix. This should work fine. Yeah. Pretty neat. And then we'll check that out. Uh, well, actually, I could show you. If I can get find the hole for the screw. These screwdrivers are magnetized, and sometimes it makes it harder because it wants to grab it and move it. There we go. That's the spot. The screwdriver also has a top. The smallest of screw heads. Let's switch it. That's better. It's better, but I still slipped. Okay, perfect. What are we going to mix today? What are we going to mix? I have a couple of these sets. This one caught my eye. This is the Easy Bake Bacon Design Cookie Set. I get to decorate it with the Food Doodles. Food oodles, yeah, it's food doodler. That's it. Includes two food doodler food coloring markers and unique frost and draw icing. So we shall see. They show a bunny here, but I don't know. Do you get the bunny? They don't really. Sh oh yeah, there's the bunny. So you get four different shapes in there. This is from 2001. This oven. Hopefully it'll say it in here. I didn't really research that. Okay, nothing. Let's see if this brochure has the same stuff on the inside. See, this one's a little bit different. Maybe not. It is. That's what caught my eye. It's a little bit different on this side. Okay, well, I'll figure that out. I'll come back now. Let's get the mix out of the box. Okay, so the oven is heating up. Let's see. Food doodler. Do you think they're still good? I hope so. I better test them now before I get... So into this and excited. There's my frosting and my cookie mix. So it looks like you get one of each in this pack. Let's just double check. White icing and then white cookie mix. And then my four nice actually looking cookie cutters. Like that. The instruction book. And then these food doodlers. Food doodlers, food doodlers, food doodles, food. I know what I'm saying. Okay, so they say food, food doodler. I don't know why I'm struggling with that. Food coloring marker contains FDA approved edible food coloring. Ooh, let's just see on my hand. Ah, works perfect. Just kidding. And then this one. Ooh, that's going to stay with me now. Let's just see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So what do I need? I probably need cooking spray. You will need mixing bowl, mixing spoon, easy-bake spatula, non-stick cooking spray, teaspoon, roller, flour. 
Let's get it and let's get started. Okay, still gathering some stuff, but I didn't give you a good look at these. So it appears to be a heart, a flower shape, a shamrock, and then the bunny. And still on my hand. Let's put those over there. Let's put this here. Now, of course, I wash everything before I do this. The pans are old, so just sometimes they look a little different when they're older. Okay. And then let's see. Let's see. Let me check this out. So what do I need? What do I need? Ages 8 plus... Oh, I got everything I need. I just need to be able to open this. That would help. Okay, one cookie mix envelope makes four to five cookies. Preheat oven. Okay, doing that. Spray baking pan with not did that. Pour the contents of cookie mix envelope into a mixing bowl. Add three quarters of a teaspoon of water. Three quarters of a teaspoon. I've never actually had them say three quarters of a teaspoon. Just to be more accurate, let me grab my other measuring spoons and I will, uh, well, hold on a second. Why three quarters? Hmm, I don't know. It's such a small amount. Three of these little quarter teaspoons. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I got my Easy Bake Essentials. Okay, scissors, white cookie mix. I'm not sure, does that mean vanilla? Or like a white cake? It doesn't have a vanilla smell, more of like a stale old clothing kind of smell. All right, and then <laughs> three quarters of a teaspoon and mix with spoon. Press dough against side of the mixing bowl until dough clings. We need clinging. Clinging is essential. One, two, three quarters. Here we go. It's not really a sugar cookie. It's close to making something that sticks to the side. Okay, so press dough against side of the mixing bowl until it clings together. I'm getting some cling, but I'm not getting a ton of cling. Let's see. Eh, maybe. Does that look like it's all clung to the side? Pretty close. Prepare a clean surface. Let's use this. Sprinkle with flour. Okay. Got it. All right. Let's get this here. Oh yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty wet on the back of the spoon. So let me. Yeah, that's pretty doughy. Let's get this. Out here, form the dough into a ball. Get a little more on my fingers. Just gonna crunch it up. I got the marker on my fingers, on my hands now. I think I do want to clean up a little bit. Let's get this worked in my hands. Form dough into a ball with your hands and flatten it on the clean surface. Okay. So let me do that. I am going to clean my hands, get some things out of here, come back and let's flatten it. Okay. I had to tone the camera down, clean my hands. This did not come off my hands. And let's roll out and try to get at least one shape to start. Let's start with that. Let's do the heart. Ooh, look at that. What a beaut. 
I could probably fit the heart and this on one tray. So this has never been shown in a video. Okay, and then this. That should fit perfectly on my tray. Okay. I might as well just roll out the other ones and have them ready. Let's say I made four to five cookies, so we're kind of on par to make three. They never really gave you like a, oh, make them this small or the bunny. They might just have enough. Well, oh, this is so much better than the set I did the other day. Did you see that set I did on Thursday? I did a little TikTok about it. It was I was struggling with that set. Look, I did it with some to spare. Okay. All right, so let's get that first batch in the oven. All right, well, here's the situation. This has the thermostatic lock, so you cannot heat it up and warm up this particular oven, which is very strange for oven, so I'll have to adjust the baking. But I thought, well, while that's doing that, let's give it a minute here. Let's take a quick look at these books here. Okay, so this one was the one from Junior Shep. It really doesn't, it's not really a cookbook. There's not much in here. There's no recipes. It just kind of gives you some basic knowledge. Baking and cooking with real ready-mix foods is lots of fun and very useful too. But make it easier and more fun by following these helpful hints and safety rules. And remember, always clean up your utensils and the place where you have worked. I will do that. And there's not much here. They just give you other refill sets you can get on this particular brochure. Each refill costs a dollar. A dollar. This booklet pretty much says the same thing, but then with a little different back here. Refills are available all year long from your Sears Christmas catalog, your Sears toy catalog, or your local Sears retail store. Sears Rollback and Company, Chicago, Illinois. Now let's just see if this is ready to open. It is not. So I'm gonna give it another minute. I will come back then. We've looked at the booklets in a little more detail and get these cookies in. All right, so we'll start off at this angle for our first batch going in. The good thing is, with this oven, is we can see it. Now, I'll probably set this for a good 15 minutes now. Because uh, that's what it originally called for. We'll just see how hot they get. I will uh, record some of it. You can't see it through the, uh, through the glass. The plastic, you know what I mean. You can kind of see it. I'll just record it anyway, and then uh, I don't think you'll... Uh, I don't think I'll put it in, but at least it's done. So I'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, I put my other cookies on a tray. Now I need to turn this off and wait for my thermostatic door lock to allow me to open the door. So I will give it five minutes and see if that's enough time. All right, so it's been five minutes. Let's see. Now I have not... Uh, was not able to look at them, I think. Well... Uh, I think they baked a little too long, plus they have to sit in there the whole time the oven cools. The pan is still a little warm. Let me take this one. I'm going to do this one 10 minutes and see if it comes out better. Here we go. All right, 10 minutes. The recording from the last one didn't really show much, so I will come back when these are done in 10 minutes. All right, I have approximately two minutes. 48 seconds. So I think this would be the time to turn it off because I'm thinking that the whole time that it's cooling, it's still cooking. And then the time it takes to warm up to get to the temperature, it's cooking. So that's probably why they turned out like this. Look at that. I don't think I've ever had a cookie bake like that. So that's one thing about this oven. You can't really check what you're baking. Look at it, pull it out, because it's got this thermostatic lock. All right, I'll be back. Okay, this packet seems very puffy, like there's still air trapped inside. Air from 2001. Okay, here we go. Mmm, that actually smells pretty good. Let me take a closer whiff. Mmm, 
There's a little effervescence of some unknown smell in there, but you know. Okay, so they wanted warm water, and then uh, let's uh, let me grab that. Oh, I got that right here, and it was two. What was it? Two teaspoons of warm water. Ooh, timer just went off. Ooh, that scared me. Okay. I was just trying to get my phone off there. Two teaspoons. One teaspoon? Two teaspoons. Not ready to open. Now this actually, you're supposed to put the cookies in the freezer after they're frosted. I think that's what it said. Warm water, stir thoroughly until smooth. Immediately spread the icing, a thin layer over the top of the cookies. Place cookies in freezer, then let stand for five minutes, then decorate. Feeling like I'm not mixing well. The last few videos I've seemed a little bit off kilter with my stuff. It just doesn't look like it wants to mix. There we go. There we go. Get in there. And this, not yet. Maybe if I just tilt it, get it all to this bottom. No, that's not working either. It's like the it's like the powder doesn't want to mix in. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what that smell is. You could just tell it's you know it's almost like um what's that stuff the marshmallow stuff that comes in the jar oh, i can't think of it okay Woo. creamy Immediately spread the icing. I hope these cookies are ready in time. Not ready. Let's get these done. Let's just do this. Let's just get it on there. It feels like, yeah, like it, it wants to, like it's setting up. Let's cover up my burnt cookies. Hmm? <laughs> It does have a nice glossy sheen, doesn't it? Can you see? Close enough? You go there, you go here, you get off there. Okay, let me get you a little closer to the decorating. Uh, actually, just the spreading of the frosting. There you go. Okay. Okay, so yeah, look at that. It has a, sort of a little glossy sheen to it. Oh, I got myself in a compromising oven position. It's still soft, so I will just keep trying. Wow, it's been at least five minutes, so imagine you're trying to work with this oven and you gotta wait this long to get in. Let me just make sure this is down. All the way, yeah. All right, I'll check back in a minute. Okay, didn't take much longer, but uh, yeah, now these are slightly soft. Actually, this one's this one seems to be the best. It's the thinnest one, so here we go. Now uh, let's just see. Oh yeah, I think I can do it. Looks like I might have it just in time. 
Ooh, look at all that. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Let me just put a little bit on there. It's not as glossy as the other one, so hopefully that will correct itself. And they're still slightly warm. I just want to get some on my bunny. Those first two came out perfect. These, because the oven. Yes, very, very difficult oven to work with. If I knew and realized at the time, I probably wouldn't have done this type of cookie. Well, he's got some furry character there. Well, we might as well just do this one up the best we can. Yeah, marshmallow fluff, that's what it was. I was thinking about it. Remember marshmallow fluff? Does anybody still eat? Uh, Marshmallow fluff, I liked it with peanut butter. Okay, that one looks just absolutely beautiful. Hmm. We've got some good dimension on that one. All right, well, I got two perfectly nice looking cookies and then two, well, I don't know, you know, cookies with character, we'll call them. All right, so five minutes in the freezer. All right, I am now in the five minutes uh, at room temperature. And it says, make fun designs. When icing is fully hardened, decorate your cookies with the food doodler. Markers to complete your tasty new creations. Be creative, eat and enjoy. After use, white marker tip clean and refrigerate. Hmm. Looking at the beautiful designs here, now that I can show you close up. Look how nice the clover is. Look how beautiful the heart is. Look how wonderful the little bunny looks. At least they did it in two colors, so... Let us just try something on the flower. I kind of like what they did, but I think I'll do something a little bit different. I think I want swirlies. Let's just see here. I got to kind of change the angle for you. Let me just do it this way. How's that? Can you see it? I wanted to do a swirly like this. Okay. All right. Now it's already starting to not be as solid of a color than the first. There's no dough coming off. I mean, no icing coming off on the tip. That's better. I just kind of cleaned it off on the side on a paper towel. Okay, there we go. And then I will try the blue in the middle. Let's see if we can get right up in there, huh? Like that. And then I will do it like this. Try to keep my hand out of the scene. How's that? A big one. A big swirly. And a dot there. And a dot there. Dot there. Dot there. And dot there. How's that one? All right, let's do the next one. Uh, let's do the heart. Now, I mean, they outline this. Let me grab this again. I'll give you this angle. Not that I need to copy what they're doing. But, you know, it's an idea to start with. And I won't... Copy it exactly. I'm going to go this way now. Ooh, it's a rough surface to work with. And then let's just... Do little polka dots. Okay. And then inside the center... I'm gonna, I was going to paint a heart. That's what they did. All right, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to write L... P S. Okay. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. Now the pink bunny. Let's give the pink gunny, pink gunny. Let's give the pink gunny an eye and a little. Ooh, sorry. Little nostril. Okay. And the surface on this is really messed up. So, see it. So we're just going to give them what, what I would call pink polka dots. Okay. 
He's my pink polka dot bunny. And now blue polka dots on my bunny. Okay. Well, here's one thing I'm going to say. I will probably never show that oven again. I just don't think it's conducive for experimenting with. I know what it does, I know how it works, and I'm not 100% comfortable with it. So let's just see, this is very wavy, so we're gonna, oh, it's still soft. It's like spongy. It's, it's gonna be like a cloud of spongy blue. You see it? This is the one I'm gonna eat. It's a blue clover, and I'm gonna eat it. Piece of it anyway. Okay. Oh. I put the blue down and grabbed the blue, thinking I wanted the pink. Okay. I think I have two more sets similar to this. Let me give you now a nice top-down look. Actually, I'm quite happy with the way they turned out. As an experiment, I mean, first time using the oven, if I was gonna do it again, I had another set, I might do it differently. I probably would do it differently. But look at this, hmm? All right, so I guess I need to try. I'll bite the bottom of the clover. Crispy. Tastes like a sugar cookie. The frosting is okay. Again, it always tastes better than it initially smells. Which is your favorite? Let me know. I was quite, I think I'm quite happy with the end results for what I had to go through. Couple issues, but other than that, it was a fun set. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it for you. I promise you a new oven or a different oven next time. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.